You know, this uh, guy was an original Washington Capitol, drafted by both leagues, probably one of the best hockey players to, 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 to come out of Grand Falls, Newfoundland, and Labrador of the mid-1970s. And again, he's going to stand out probably as one of the best rookie seasons of the Capitals in that rough first two or three seasons of the league. And of course, we have to be talking about the man he called White, Tony White. Now, Tony White, born June 16, 1954, again in the Grand Falls, Newfoundland, Labrador, not New, uh, New Brunswick, as some people make a mistake, 5'10", uh, 175 forward. First came to major prominence uh, uh, with the Kitchener Rangers over two seasons in the OHA. Now, his second season with Kitchener, he put up 53 points, but Washington took a header on him, and so did New England. They drafted him in the later rounds. He was taken 10th overall, 160 uh, in the 10th round, 161st overall by the Capitals in the 74 NHL draft. And 150 45th overall in the 10th round by the Whalers. So it was a long shot, but what really was the promise here, ladies and gentlemen, these two-way plays. The first NHL games were with Washington in 75, where he had two assists in five games. But he played that season with Dayton, put up some impressive numbers. 74 points combined, regular season and playoffs. 30 goals, 44 assists for uh, 74 points. 76 was the breakthrough year, ladies and gentlemen. But put this in perspective. He had 25 goals, 42 points in 80 games uh, with a minus 43. And again, Washington was struggling. The next year, he had a little bit better on the, on the defensive side. 12 goals and 9 assists for 21 points. But for some reason, he fell out of favor with Washington in 78. He spent most of the season that year with the, the Hershey Bears. 53 points in 68 games. Only played one game with the Caps that year. Now by 79, he was entrenched in the Springfield Indians program of the IHL. 55 points in 80 game. Got back to the North Stars uh, of the NHL in 1980 with six games. But eventually was uh, spent the next two years with Oklahoma City Stars of the CHO, putting up 51 goals over 140 games over two seasons. Now he wrapped up his major pro career with Fusen of the uh, Bundesliga uh, in 82 and 83, put up some really nice numbers, 30 goals in 66 games in, uh, in two seasons. But when we look at that 75-76 team, ladies and gentlemen, there was only two players that had more points than him that year. He led the Capitals in goal scoring, but only Nelson Payette and the great Hartle Monahan, uh, you know, and a team led by Mill Schmidt, 3-28-5. It was a rough year, but uh, Payette, uh, excuse me, excuse me, Payette had 26 goals, Tony had 25. I forgot about the last uh, couple of counters he got in the season. But uh, it was a young team that year because at the time, uh, Tony and Payette and Hartland were only uh, 24. You had Bob Sirwa was only 21. Greg Jolie was 21. Again, it was a it was a youth uh, movement, and um, you know, but uh, you know Ron Lowe again. Uh, Ron Lowe and Bernie Wolf still quite young, so it was interesting how it worked out. But uh, what really stands about a Tony White, I don't remember. This is just me here. How many Newfoundlanders? Hit the 24 5 goal mark in the 1970s. It can't be that many. I know any mayor timer to hit the 25 goal mark was front page news in her home area. And I know Grand Falls, uh, Newfoundland, and Labrador are quite, uh, quite uh, proud of him anyway. Now, what's really uh, nice about uh, him, if you look at the minor teams he played, Dayton, Hershey, Springfield, Oklahoma City, some of the most popular minor league teams of their era. And again, he became a fan favorite. Final NHL totals, 65 points in 164 games, 37 goals. Again, Tony White, an established 25-goal scorer no matter when he played. And again, when you come from Grand Falls, you got to be good. Have a good evening. Bye.